You guys, it is absolutely miserable today. It's been raining all week long. I don't even feel like I'm in Southern California, but uh, yeah, kind of depressing weather. But what's not depressing is what we're doing today. We are bringing redemption to the Garage Life FD. We are working on DK's FD today and getting it all prepped for paint. I'm gonna tell you guys more about what we're painting it in another video because it's something I am so, so excited about. I can't even tell you. Uh, but today we are prepping the FD for paint and bringing it back to life after an accident that happened at Irwindale Speedway, which I will let DK tell you guys more about. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. This is content right now. Like, you really don't remember what happened? No, I do not. Did, that's a huge... <laughs> I mean, wait, okay, let me see the body panel. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, this is the body panel that came off? Okay, well, there's a there's this hairline crack here, but... But seriously, like... No way! How does that look like that? And then underneath, there's all of this... I have this, no you idea. swear this wasn't like this before you put that panel on? No, hell no. I painted this car. Is, I do not know how that got there. Damn, my beautiful paint job. <laughs> wow. Uh, you would have oh, never man. known this is hiding underneath there. Uh, Look at that. Ooh. What is that? Oh, this tire? Poor drift car. This makes no sense. No sense at all. My guess is that you just, it was a super gnarly crash and you just don't remember it. You were like knocked unconscious. That is the only reason why someone would not remember a dent that bad. Look at that. You can't. I don't even remember. DJ, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. What are you whatever. doing? <laughs> Yeah, so the last round of the drift league, I went a little bit too ham on my first practice run. Uh, I didn't account for like dew on the track. So I hit it really fast and then I spun out straight into the top of the bank. Wait, so the, the track was a little slick? The track the was very slippery. In fact, the guy right behind me crashed and wrecked his car even worse than mine. So yeah, there was a lot of dew on the track and, and I was the first one on the track and I did not know. I didn't think well, of I dew didn't on know the track. that. Yeah. I didn't know you were like first out and that happened in the morning because I thought yep. this was like a second. Uh th that was the first crash. The second one was because the, the car was just not the same anymore after that first crash, after we fixed it, so it was just really jalopy. And the second crash was like on the inner bank and uh yeah, so here we are fixing it. Okay, and then when the crash happened, this was all mangled. So you had to get the chassis stretched out, which you just did recently. So like what parts, what parts were the worst? This whole side was pushed up towards into the engine and upwards. Um, this whole frame rail was buckled up. So the body shop next door, they, they pulled it all straight. Obviously something's missing here. Yeah, and the upper there. intake is off because when we crashed, the, the shock tower pushed into the intake manifold so hard that it actually cracked. pushed inwards and up into the upper intake and it even cracked the, the intake manifold. Uh, luckily, the motor's fine. Nothing flew in the motor, but just, uh, yeah, hard hit. Were you like a little messed up? Did you feel it at all or did it just happen so fast? Uh, I remember the firefighter was like, do you remember your name? Do you know where you no. are? No! <laughs> oh my gosh! And I was like, yeah, I just crashed. I'm fine. <laughs> but you didn't feel bad at all? A little totally bit. Good. A little dizzy, but I was fine. Man. I haven't told them yet what color we're painting it, because I kind of, kind of tricked 
tricked you, sort of, into agreeing what color to paint it, but they'll find out later. So, today we are giving this car another life and prepping it for paint. So, plan for today, we're just gonna, you guys have already sanded the whole thing with 200? 220, so we got all 800. 220, and then what are the jumps? So you're doing 220, and then what are we doing next for sanding? 400, 6, and 8. 400, 600, 800. And may maybe do over it with 1200 just for fun. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. No, I had to do it with mine. Okay, at least your this FD is so nice, like compared to what I had to do to my FC, because there was just layers of spray paint and crap. Like it was just layers of horribleness underneath the spray paint and Bondo. So this actually won't take too long. So we're just prepping the body, and then you're gonna finish or keep working on the bash bars, right? Yeah. All right. She will be beautiful again. Is this your favorite thing to do ever? Yeah, it's gonna help me with my guitar, so. Oh, that's true! Soon. Gilbert has the next Stay car tuned. that we have to paint. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to convince him to just paint it all hot pink. Oh, Maybe. Oh, you're legit 100% going pink. Yes! Yes! Pink FC on the way. Too bad though, I feel like half of my are separate So I didn't even know you can do this, but apparently you can lay fiberglass down yourself. I don't know, I don't know much about body work, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. All right, step one. Teach us the ways. <clears throat> cool, so you got your partner over here and Glass. This is the, the map thing we use. So, pieces out. Just cutting random pieces. Step three. 
difference? Well... Your hand gets caught right here and you hammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that what you did? Yeah. Looks good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been procrastinating standing this whole time, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna start. Date. So now you bonded. Yeah, dent? it'll still need one more layer, but yeah. What then? What then? It's almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> shooting you guys and get back to it. I've only done 80 and 220 grit all over it. I'm gonna hit it again with 220 before I go 400, 600, 800. Pretty big crack actually, right here. If I do the other side first. Finishing up 400, then 600, 800, and then. And that's it. It's ready to shoot. Just we'll be done tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe? We'll be done tomorrow. Update This is day two for me being here at the shop helping with paint prep. It is day like three or four for Garage Life. I think I missed like two days because I wasn't here when they were still um, doing all the sanding. But I really quick wanted to include this in my last stuff I recorded <laughs> because there's a lot that's been done to it and we're already starting on wet sanding right now. It's super late at night 
We've been rushing all day, so I just didn't have time to film, but I'm gonna update you guys. Right now, I don't have makeup on, so no judgment. <laughs> Basically, we're done with all the Bondo. Bondo spot right there. Oh, oh crap. Well, the fender's on right now, but underneath this, you would not believe the transformation. The transformation of that huge dent that we showed you that DK was fixing, now it looks perfect. Like right when it got banged out, now he put Bondo over it, it looks amazing, but I'll show you that in the video of us painting it as we'll take the fenders off for that. On here, all the holes are fixed up. There was some under there. Um, this is like the last layer of Bondo for this, but there are some bit holes and we just have to sand that down. And there's a bunch right here. There's more holes right there. There's Gilbert putting in that work. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see if there's any other Bondo. Tiny Bondo there. Oh, and then there's a, kind of a big chunk right here. This is what I was working on the other day. So that was the part of that giant crack that he refibered last, then Bondoed it, and then just laid down some primer. So that looks awesome. And this is ready for wet sanding. Those are the updates. Prepping for paint is no joke. It is serious, serious work. And this is with, I mean, a lot of people chipping in and helping get this done and it's taken this long. So we are spraying the car tomorrow. So this is the final sprint. The final sprint. The final sprint. Faster, faster go. <laughs> My technique? Yeah, it's just uh, yeah, see what you got, alright? Alright. One handed. Oh, one hand, alright. One hand. Oh, just all the way up. You gotta get the scratches from front to back so they blend. <laughs> I've never it feels like the back of a dolphin. Wow. All right, I'm gonna end this video here because there's a lot more sanding that needs to happen, and the next video will be in the paint booth. Thanks, bye. Bye.